to make a family tree of the Greek gods for my history class. It's all pretty complicated. Dear Tim and Moby, who were the Greek gods? From Theodore. The ancient Greeks were polytheistic. That means they believed in more than one god. They had a whole mythology that explained their gods' roles in the universe. The story goes that three brothers, Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon, gambled for control of the heavens, sea, and underworld. Poseidon won the sea, Hades won the underworld, and Zeus won the heavens. The gods agreed that they would share control of the earth, which led to a lot of arguments and fighting. Yeah, according to legend, the twelve main Greek gods lived on top of Mount Olympus. They were known as the Olympians. But Mount Olympus wasn't always a very friendly place to live. Let's take a look at some of the major players on Mount Olympus. Since he controlled the heavens, Zeus became the ruler of the other Greek gods. Hera was his wife, and they didn't have the greatest relationship. Hera was jealous at Zeus's interest in other women. Yeah. Then there was Apollo, the god of medicine, music, and the sun. His sister was Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Artemis and Apollo were actually the children of Zeus and a mortal woman, Leto. Aphrodite was the goddess of love. She was married to Hephaestus, the god of metalworking, but she was actually in love with Ares, the god of war. I know, it's like staying home from school and watching soap operas. Demeter was Zeus's sister, and the goddess of grain and the harvest. Athena was the goddess of justice and learning. She was born fully grown from Zeus's head. As the ruler of the sea, Poseidon controlled the wind and the waves. When he got angry, rough seas were sure to follow. Hermes was another of Zeus's sons, and he was a messenger of the gods. He had the job of conducting souls to the underworld, ruled by Hades, as you remember. Hades wasn't very happy about getting stuck with the underworld, and he stayed away from Mount Olympus most of the time. Well, the whole thing sounds complicated, but the gods were a part of everyday life for the ancient Greeks. A sick person might ask Apollo, the god of medicine, to make them well again. Sailors would make sacrifices to Poseidon to keep storms away. The Greeks made animal sacrifices to the gods before going to war, before sporting events, to show their thanks, or to find out the future. Oh, and by the way, there were lots of other minor gods and goddesses who ruled over all sorts of other things on Earth. It was a pretty big family. Well, the Greek gods didn't really go anywhere. People just stopped believing in them eventually and decided to believe in other stuff. You want to have control of the seas? Um, okay, go for it. What are you doing in there?